What's up, everyone, and welcome back to HBCU Game Day. I am Simone Stanley, and today we have a very special guest, class of 2023 outfielder Martavius Thomas. Fresh off a commitment to Grambling, Martavius, thank you so much for the time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Of course, so the big news is that you were, were originally committed to Arkansas. Then you mm -hmm. decommitted. Where did that decision come from? Um, it was all about, um, you know, going where the heart is at. You know, um, going down to Gramley, you know, the coaching staff kind of gave me something to think about, you know. Um, and, you know, they just, you know, they just showed the most love that I felt thus far in my recruiting process. I've been going through the recruiting process since I was in, like, maybe eighth grade. And um, it was – I had never came in contact with HBCU before that, before that, before choosing Gramley, but – I knew that when I went down there that that was ultimately the decision I needed to make. But all love to the Hog fans and pretty much every other school that recruited me. But I had to find my home, and Gramlin was my home. No other HBCU even contacted you at all, being that never, you were so highly recruited? I had um, only, like, SEC schools and, like, um, ACC and, um, you know, like the Big Ten, the big conferences. I really never really just had any HBCU, so like I never really thought about going to any. But um, Coach Phil Adams, he, I mean, you know what I mean. He just, he, I guess he tried one day and talked us, talked around, talked to some coaches, and um, kind of let them know that my recruitment was still kind of open, and um, we took it on from there. You were you were already decommitted from Arkansas at that point, or were they talking to you while you were still committed to Arkansas? Um, I was still verbally committed. I hadn't signed. I was still verbally committed. I hadn't signed. I was kind of, I let them know that I was shopping around and just kind of, you know, f trying to figure out the best decision for me for the next, you know, four years, three to four years. So I guess I'm asking, what is the message that Grambling gave you that really compelled you to want to go there? They, that once that they talk about baseball, all the coaching staff, all they talked about was making me a great human a great man, husband, and a father one day. And that's kind of ultimately what I want to be a part of. And, you know, um, it was never about baseball. They Their motto is that baseball is just the extras. You know what I mean? Um, baseball is just what comes on top at the bottom of um, what they what they try to accomplish. They try to make guys that get degrees, you know, graduate from school, become, once again, become great husbands, great fathers to the kids, great human beings, great citizens. And um, I kind of, me and my family just kind of gravitated towards that that vibe, you know, we just kind of liked it. And now you are the highest ranked recruit in Grambling history, HBCU baseball history. Did you know that until after you committed or did you know that before you committed? I had heard like, see, I, um, for my sign day, I dropped my top three schools was University of Arkansas, University of Memphis, and then Grambling. And um, people, I was kind of hearing around from like um, over on Twitter that people were saying like, if I went to Grandma, I'd be the highest recruit. But I didn't really think none of it on signing day. But I just remember like, after literally like 20 minutes after signing, like my phone blowing up, like looking at news and like <laughs> looking at Twitter, all that. And I'm like, I really did that, like you know. And um, it was kind of surreal for me too. And I'm just like. That's crazy, cause I didn't really believe. I didn't not go try to believe it, but I just didn't know how true it was. But people did research on it, and um, they they clarified that it was true. The highest recruit to ever like sign with a uh, HBCU. So how does it feel now that it's, it's has it hit you or has it soaked in? I don't think so yet. It, 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 I'm still just trying to, you know, I'm just I'm fresh in, you know, and I'm just looking to get to work as soon as possible you know, down there at Gremlin or whatever um, my adventures after high school are. So, um, yeah, I'm just really curious to um, get going. It hasn't hit me yet. I'm sure it will, but just not yet. And what are your impressions of SWAC baseball and HBC baseball overall? Um, It's so, it's so, it's so like, um, not loved as much, you know. Um, it's not loved. And I kind of feel like guys like me, need to go to schools like that in the HBCU community and the SWAC to bring that love back and um show them people that show people that those SWAC guys can play. HBCUs can play baseball, they can play football, they can play basketball. 
And um, I just kind of think about every time, like now that I've made this decision, I just think about the Travis Hunter situation, how he went to Jackson State. He did it in football. I just made history in baseball. Somebody's going to do it in basketball, and we're just going to keep it rolling. So I just feel like it's a plant a seed and keep it going and keep it growing type of thing. So, yeah, that's kind of how I look at it. Okay. I like it. So how do you feel like you have it? You could have an instant impact on the baseball program. I think um, right away, you know, this speed factor is going, is going, is going to tell a lot. Um, my hit tool. Um, yeah. I'm, um, you know, um, yeah. I think the hit tool will be there right away. Defense, you know, I'll add my little flair, my little flash to the game at the swag, but don't get me wrong. The swag got swag already. They I've been to a couple games at Gremlin. The, the the swag has swag, so I think I'll fit in perfectly day one with the way that they play the game and the, and the way that I love to play it. And um, yeah, I just add my talents and um, hopefully we can go to Omaha and Gremlin. Okay, so what part of your game are you focused on working on the most um, before during your time in college? Because I know your ultimate goal is probably to go to the big league. So. What part of your game do you think needs the most work? I don't even think it's nothing like on the field. I think it's more of a like, don't take it too serious, have fun, and don't like try to overcompensate and try to do too much. Because I can kind of get real anxious and antsy to where I'm like, I got to get it, I got to go. Where if I just let it happen and just play and have fun, it comes to me naturally. You know, it's kind of like a gift that God gave me. And I just got to let them use it. You know what I mean? So um, I just think, yeah, just just let it come to me. Don't be antsy. Don't be nervous either. And don't think I got to do too much. You know, just um, play with them to my best abilities. And I got to take care of the rest for sure. So all mental and mindset things. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. I think that um, God blessed me so much physically that he was like, yeah, I can't, I can't let you get it all mentally. I got to let you struggle a little bit because physically, I mean – it's proven that I'm one of the top guys, but like it's just a mental thing. Don't try to do too much, you know. Okay, I like that. So, lastly, what has you excited for your next chapter of baseball? The journey, for sure. The journey. Um, I think that what I just what 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 just came about in the HBCU history is like it's gonna it's gonna be a lot to come after me. It's way bigger than me, I feel like. Um, I feel like the, the the baseball is just, once again, just one of the extra things. I think that you're going to see HBCUs and Grambling get top-tier facilities now. You're going to see you, you're gonna see top top players going there every often, every other day now. It won't just be me, you know, every other 10 years, you know, that decides to make the decision. I think it's going to become a, a thing that's really, really, really a force to be reckoned with. And um, that's kind of the seed that I want to plant. You know, I just kind of want to leave my mark and um, let people know that hey, it's cool. Like it's there's no you. It's no it's no it's no school that you can't go to. There's no big school that's too small. It's no school that's too big. You can go anywhere. Well, you said you want to continue to grow your mindset, but I think your mindset is at a high peak right now because i love what i'm hearing from you the majority is there uh -huh. yeah <laughs> you just gotta keep elevating though i want to keep elevating you know I i'm keep just messing with you <laughs> keep going up you know i'm just trying to keep going up i love it well we can't wait to see how your baseball career continues to unfold and congratulations again on all the success that you have had so far thank you i appreciate that i appreciate that of course. Well, guys, I am Simone Stanley. This is HBCU Game Day. Thank you guys so much for joining us.